So we, we've been looking a lot at Microsoft 365 suites and how to assign those to your users and what type of users are actually out there in order to license. But there's one aspect that we haven't talked about, and that is the robotic process automation aspect. So Microsoft has seen a lot of activity where organizations create certain bots or have certain servers that need to run certain M365, at least apps for enterprise tools like Excel, Word, PowerPoint. And for that, they have created a specific license. So they don't allow you to use a user-based license like M365 E3 per user on a server device and use RPA in that sense. So if you automate certain processes which require the use of M365 services, what you would require is a Microsoft 365 E3 and attended license. This would help you with all the services you require to do robotic process automation. So if you run any bots on your environment, this would be the way to do it. And the use rights are called out here on the screen. So this is taken from the, the, the product terms and it would uh, state what the assignment and use rights are for these types of licenses. So you can assign a 365 E3 unattended license to an unattended bot running either on hardware dedicated to your use or a virtual machine on Azure, including Azure Virtual Desktop if you're using it. There are no qualifying OS requirements to use the Microsoft 365 A3 or E3 suite. And each unattended license allows you the use of the M365 E3 suite in one single unique physical or virtual operating system environment for robotic process automation. Each unattended license is allowed a single unique instance of Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise. And license reassignments for these licenses follow the same rules as you are used to from Microsoft. So that means that you cannot move this more than once every 90 days. There's some use limitations here as well, where unattended bots may not create or replicate activities or workflows on behalf of an unlicensed user or device. That would be considered multiplexing, and that would mean that you would have to license all the end users of that workflow. And Microsoft reserves the right to restrict or disable Microsoft API calls with reasonable notice due to unreasonable amount of bandwidth. So if you're overusing or adversely impacting the stability of Microsoft's APIs, so if you're misusing it or adversely affecting the behavior of any other apps. So this is a very interesting license. I don't think this is being used or discussed a lot, but I do think that many organizations are running these bots with Microsoft 365 services that they require for this. So it's just to make you aware that if you're doing this, you should typically switch to a different license.